Yamren? Yapin? It's all the same, right? In any case, hello you guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what is up? My name is Dia. Nice of you to join us for today's video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about perfume oils that I got from Etsy. Um, I got two different collections from two different stores. The first set is made of perfume oils, you know, for people who like to smell clean. Um, I think this is a collection that you'd definitely be interested in. Um, the second set, I do not quite know how to categorize them, but they are basically perfume oils of very popular scent notes when we're talking about like Middle Eastern fragrances. If you're somebody who is thinking of dabbling in Arabian fragrances, but you are not sure if you would like them or not. I do feel like these perfume oils will be a great entry because you can experiment with them, basically. Yeah, so, you know, if you'd like to hear more of my thoughts on the perfume oils we're going to be talking about in today's video, definitely stick around and keep on watching. Now, let's start with the first set, which is this collection of musk perfume oils. Now, I don't know whether they are all called musk al-tahara. Mas Tahara. I do know that usually when we're talking about Mask Tahara or Mask Al Tahara, we are specifically talking about the white one. So I don't know if this is a term used for this whole set, but you know, I'll verify and let you guys know. Um, but yes, we're basically gonna start by talking about this particular set and I'm gonna talk about them in order of like my preference. So the ones that I least liked to the ones that I loved most. Now, all of these oils, they all smell clean it's more musky but it's like different variations and they come in different flavors um and they are each 12 ml so you do get quite a lot for what you pay for and this was very affordable i think the whole set was around 21 dollars 22 and it was free shipping so that's very affordable this one i believe is um supposed to be berry and pomegranate flavored i don't like this one as much because even though it smells clean and musky um it smells almost like um cough syrup it has that cough syrupy flavor to it yeah so i don't like this one as much but i don't it doesn't smell terrible not at all now the next one for me is this blue one and this one is supposed to be i believe powder like the powder oil i think that's the flavor on it in the description this one, the funny thing is, when I first got my hands on this particular set, I liked this blue one. Um, but then, recently, it reminds me of the scent. So, when I was in high school, junior high school, senior high school, I used to cut my hair. Um, and whenever I go to the barber shop, after I was done, like when they spray, you know, all those hair stuff on my hair, there was this particular scent that I would always leave with. And now that I went back to it, I kind of get that smell in here. Because I cannot help but get that, you know, barbershop scent from it. This is this is my third, I don't know, my second least favorite. I don't like it as much, but it does smell clean, you know, because it's musk. Um, yes. Now the one that comes in second place for me is the purple one. I don't remember what flavor this is, but I basically poured that in here because it's just it was easier for me to use it in this particular bottle. I don't know if you guys remember this bottle from my um, mask perfume review, but yes, it's a lot easier for me to use it in here than in the bottles themselves. But yeah, this one came in second place to me. Now, of all this particular collection, this one is the one that smells the cleanest when we're talking about like um, soapy detergent kind of clean. It smells very, very clean, very clean, a, a little sweet. But that is clean. That is clean. Okay. Now, the one that comes in first place for me in this particular collection is the white one. And this one, this is the one that I know people call, I don't know whether it's Mask Tahara or Mask Al Tahara, one of them. But this is, this is the best of all the, the collection, like the set, in the set. This is the best. This one smells, it's musky, it's sweet. You get a little bit of like floral notes in there. And I've noticed that this is the thickest in the collection. I don't know whether you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is so thick and it smells so good. It's musky, it's clean, it's floral. <sighs> now, this one, I had a hard time trying to move this one to like um, another like container to use it because it's so thick and because of that it's not it doesn't you know 
come out as easily as the other ones the other ones i highly suspect that they mix with other stuff because these ones they are relatively lighter like they move a lot easier than the white one which as well i was able to move the purple one in here they're all small clean but this one smells the cleanest but this one smells the best now overall this is a very good set i think that if you're someone who is into smelling clean and musky this is going to be the perfect set for you i don't however feel like you need every single flavor in this particular set in fact i said i should skip these two they don't smell bad but honestly mm, they don't smell that great they are okay <laughs> yeah okay um the purple one is not bad but the white one smells the best so honestly you know if you do decide to go buy from that store i would say just just get the white one this this is the one you want this is the one you need now what actually sent me in search of musk tahara like um perfume oils was that i saw this one perfume curator and she was talking about um how she uses the white one specifically as deodorant like she used that for um if i'm not mistaken her armpits and i found that very interesting i am yet to use that as a deodorant you know for my armpit but that that should be interesting i should try it um but yes i don't think that you need all the flavors but if you do decide to get the full set i don't think that's a bad idea at all because it's very affordable and you get a lot of products in each of them actually so you know you wouldn't be throwing money away at all and i do feel like you know there are people out there who might actually like the rest of the oils than i do because again scents can be very subjective and all of that um, but I, I, I think a lot of people would actually agree that the white one smells the best because I do feel like this is most likely the original. Yeah. Now, if we're talking about cons for this particular set, I would have to say is the um, the packaging. The bottle themselves are not bad, but the thing that I don't like about them is the applicator. It's so hard to get it off like to pull it out and use it which is why i decided to transfer that here in the first place now i did try to transfer the white one but oh my god this is so thick it wasn't moving it wasn't moving at all so you know i've given up so i'm just gonna have to use it in the bottle as it is um but yeah another con that i'll say is probably the shipping now this i feel like this particular um order took about three weeks to get here which is relatively fast because from what they originally told me I was supposed to get this um in a month so it came like a week early um but yes those are basically the only cons that i can think of but the pros these smell good they're affordable um i think they have a very decent projection and longevity as well and um overall if you're somebody who doesn't like very strong fragrances but you're looking for something that smells clean and musky i think you should try your hands on this set did i mention you're affordable and you get a lot of products yeah <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I just filmed multiple videos where I was talking about the second set of oils that I got from Etsy. Um, but then I just went back to watch the videos and then I noticed that the, the audio was just gone. I don't know what happened. But right now, I'm tired. I'm tired, so I'm just going to end here. And maybe, inshallah, tomorrow I would um, record the second part of the video and hopefully it will be better. But right now, I'm just I'm tired, so I'm going to stop here. So you're gonna see two different hamdirs, but it's just that one video, you know. So don't fret. Um until next time. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's talk about the second set of perfume oils that I got from Etsy. By the way, it's been three days since my last video. Let's get right into it. For this next set, we have Arabian vanilla, oud rose, bamboo flower black musk and white oud so i'm going to talk about these in no particular order starting with oud rose now this is actually one of the first purchases that i made from the store and it smells exactly as its name this is basically just oud and rose so you know if those are scent notes that you do not enjoy i'll say stay away from this one um but one thing about this particular oil the longevity and the projection is pretty good i'll say it's definitely above average and this was actually the one that made me go in and get a lot more oils from the store because i was very impressed um by the way it projected and the way it lasted long on my skin so yes oud rose the next one i'm going to be talking about is bamboo flower and honestly this is one of my favorite oils from the store it's this slightly 
I want to say it's like a, a flowery, sweet kind of perfume oil. It smells really good. It smells really nice. It's very soft. It's kind of subtle. So if you're not somebody who particularly enjoys like very strong fragrances, I think you really like this one. Like I have applied this on, um, you know, my like the warm i guess the warm areas of my body and when this one warms up it smells so good like it smells really good if you are a flowery type girly i think you really like bamboo flower definitely give it a chance um one thing i'll say however is that i pick up on a bamboo scent note in here and the only reason why i know that this actually smells like bamboo is because i i bought this tea from tj maxx and it was like a bamboo flavored tea and it, it has that scent so it's like yeah i'm convinced that this it definitely smells like bamboo but it's not like an overpowering kind of bamboo scent it's very nice floral soft subtle next i'm going to be talking about white oud and contrary to the name this one although it is oud it's oud but i would describe this as a floral kind of oud i don't even know if that's like an existence but this is one of the softest floral oud scent i've ever smelt in my life i mean it does have like that oud essence to it but it's soft it's slightly sweet like a, a floral kind of sweet this one smells like a very soft floral kind of oud i really like it now see if someone describes this as baby oud i can understand now that I, I would understand that this is kind of baby oud and if you're someone who is typically not into oud scents i would say give this a try um get the 3 ml see how you feel about it because this one is very nice i pair the white oud and the bamboo flower together and listen it smells so good it smells really good but let's move on i feel like i'm yammering yammering yapping it's all the same right in any case, let's move on to Arabian Vanilla. And this one, um, I actually was not expecting that I would like. Because you guys remember that um, review that I did on that Arabian Musk that I got from Amazon. I did not like that one at all. So I did feel like it was a little bit of a risk getting this one. But it's not a risk that, you know, um, resulted in my money being wasted at all. This smells so good. This is a... I want to say soft vanilla scent is sweet but it has like hints of wood in there like very soft wood it's very ambery just an ambery vanilla it reminds me of this musk perfume oil by Neymat. this is actually very popular a lot of people talk about it and they kind of smell similar so i, I feel like if you like the vanilla musk by Neymat, you would like the arabian vanilla from the store and in my opinion it might be slightly more affordable Jusipa. I could be wrong i could be wrong but vanilla arabian vanilla is actually really really nice i would say it's slightly subtle though this is not um crazy strong but then again if you're somebody who is not into strong fragrances this this is for you this is really nice all right moving on to the last one and this is black musk now i bought this one because i was very intrigued the same thing with the white wood right i wanted to know what black musk will smell like um safe to say that i like it i like this a lot let me just remind myself of what it smells like now amongst all of them i feel like this is the one that has more of that arabian touch to it it's sort of oody spicy and then it has um sort of like a, a mentalness in there it's it's like a sort of freshness to it of all of them i feel like this one is more on the masculine side but I definitely do see this oil as unisex because I really like it. There was another one that I bought from the store. Um, I think it's called Blue Legend. And that one smells really good as well. Um, Like sweet, fruity. But it definitely had more of that masculine touch to it. So I ended up giving it to a friend. Um, But that one smells really good too. That with this one, I feel like as a combo, like um, to give out to someone as a gift. It's not a bad idea at all because they smell really good and they're very affordable. So in here... In this particular bottle, I have the Oud Rose and the Arabian Vanilla, a little bit of that Arabian Vanilla, because I wanted to give it more of like a sweet touch. But what I'm going to do is after this video, I'm going to be mixing that Black Musk with a combination because I want to see what that gives me. Um, I really like that. Now, another thing that I did, I mixed the Arabian Vanilla, um, the White Oud, and the bamboo flower together because you know the white wood and the bamboo they kind of smell floral they're more on like the floral 
smooth slightly very slightly powdery side so i put those together and i added a little bit of that arabian vanilla because again i want that you know sweetness with a hint of that woods and i really like that combo i like that a lot one con about this particular set is the bottle like i don't like the bottles they come in because when i apply this on my skin it feels like it cuts me it it is just not very gentle on the skin which is one of the reasons why i decided to put them in different bottles now these ones the um the rollers are a bit more gentle on my skin um yeah but that's basically the only con about this these this particular set aside that they're very affordable they smell really good um and they have very decent longevity and projection um yeah so that's basically it for the oils that i got from etsy um i feel like in general they all smell really good they're very affordable um you can use them in multiple ways you can apply them directly on your skin but one other way that i feel like you can use them is by mixing them with your like your lotion because that's what i did with this one now this one if you recall um is one of those ones that i wasn't particularly enthused by so i put this in my pomade and let me tell you it smells so good it smells so good if you want to smell clean you want to smell clean like that's your vibe definitely going for the first set i think if you wanted to try all of them is definitely doable um because they're very affordable um if not i would just highly recommend the white one the white one is the best of all of them now with this other set if you wanted a little something a bit more or you wanted to dabble in middle eastern fragrances and you know you want to be sure of what your vibe truly is i think that this second store you should definitely check them out they have like other um scents on their website there's this one that i saw that was like um was it raspberry candy and it smells sweet i don't know if i'll be getting any more from that particular store um because i want to use these up first but i just say all of this to say they have even more options that you can check out i'll be sure to link both stores in my description box just in case anyone is interested in checking them out um but yeah that's basically it for this video i don't know if there's anything else that i want to add just that these oils are worth it and i think you should check them out because it's more pretty good yeah um as usual thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was helpful and i hope to see you guys in my next one bye